specially developed by Bell and Lockheed Martin for the Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA program, to replace the UH-60 Blackhawk. The Bell V-280 Valor is the only future vertical lift weapon system with flight-proven agility, speed, range, endurance, and overall performance. It also adds benefits of reduced risk and long-term cost of proven tilt rotor platform. The V-280 Valor is the best Bell's FLRAA to fulfill the U.S. Army's performance and affordability needs. The tilt rotor kicked off its first flight on the 18th of December 2017. It was built on a modular open systems architecture engineering approach. Featuring internet protocol, interfaces, and data standards for the fast, low-risk integration of upgrades and sustainment enhancement. These are frequently software upgrades or changes to electronics, mission systems, and command and control systems. The rate of modernization is so rapid, especially in computer processing, artificial intelligence-enabled systems, and sensors, that Bell engineers made a concerted effort to design the new V-280 with a technical foundation that ensures long-term upgradability and dependability. This capacity to rapidly upgrade and enhance components, systems, and aircraft technology improves safety significantly, especially when anticipated component failures may be predicted well in advance of any problem. The Bell V-280 Valor delivers higher flying performance and lifespan sustainability by combining the speed and range of a turboprop with enhanced agility greater than that of the typical helicopter. It is the only long-range assault system capable of maneuvering ground forces at the range and speeds necessary for multi-domain operations. It revolutionizes Army overmatch with more than double the range and speed of the current fleet. The V-280 has proven its sheer control power in switch, roll, and yaw maneuvers for long-range cruising, flying over 300 knots, and accumulating 215 flight testing hours over three years. It is intendedly designed with a cruising speed of 280 knots, which becomes the underlying reason of its name. The Bell can fly for a range of 2,100 nautical miles with an effective combat range of 500 to 800 nautical miles. The increased speed, outstanding range capabilities, and strategic lift deployment options of the Bell V-280 results in improved mission flexibility when responding to military action or humanitarian aid operations such as providing broader range for reaching global issues and faster delivery of medical care to boost the survival rate of war victims. The Valor tilt rotors also give overmatch in lower tier air domains. Its triple redundant fly-by-wire technology has proven level one attitude quickness in the low speed domain in flight tests. In comparison to a rotary wing platform, flying a tilt rotor on the wing allows the pilot to move very fiercely at high speeds. The V-280 can spin on its side like an aircraft and swiftly displace from the threat while maintaining a positive energy condition and without taxing its dynamic systems. There is no need to be concerned about an overhead rotor system disc separation, or main rotor mast limits for quick maneuvering and high-speed flight while using a tilt rotor. The design of V-280 is derived from the UH-60 Blackhawk medium-lift helicopter with major necessary changes. While the V-280 has a slightly broader footprint than the Blackhawk, it is also more than 20% shorter thanks to the absence of exposed rotors on the leading and trailing edges of the footprint. This footprint, which is unique to the V-280 layout, 
also allows for more landing zone flexibility and increased personal safety everywhere around the aircraft. Actions in and out of the landing zone do not require any clutching or declutching mechanisms of sophisticated propulsors with routine tilting of the prop rotors. The fuselage, however, resembles that of the Black Hawk. When landing, the wing is more than 7 feet above the ground, allowing personnel to readily exit through two 6-foot wide side doors and door gunners to have vast fields of fire. In terms of engine, the V280 is completely different if compared to the earlier Bell's tilt rotor family member, V22 Osprey. It is powered by the General Electric T64, a free turbine turboshaft engine, although the particular engine for the model performance specification was unclear at the time. The V280 Valor's engines will remain static as the rotors and drive shafts tilt. In the case of engine failure, a drive shaft runs through the straight wing, allowing both prop rotors to be operated by a single engine. The V280 also includes flexible landing gear, a triple redundant flyby wire control system, and a V tail design. The wings are constructed from a single piece of carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite, which reduces weight and production cost. While the Osprey has a higher disc loading and less hover efficiency than a helicopter, the V280 features a lower disc loading and a longer wing for better hover and cruise efficiency. The V280 will have a four-person crew and can transport up to 14 soldiers. With dual cargo hooks, it will be able to carry a 10,000-pound M777A2 howitzer while flying at 150 knots. The interior part of the V280 features wirelessly charging seats for personnel's radios, night vision goggles, and other electronic equipment, as well as windows that show three-dimensional mission maps. Although the V280 is a utility configuration, Bell Company is also working on an assault configuration. Whether the different variants of the V280 would fill utility and attack roles or a single airframe could exchange payloads for either mission, Bell is optimistic that the Valor tilt rotor platform can accomplish both duties. The U.S. Marine Corps is interested in having one aircraft of the new concept to replace utility and attack helicopters. However, the Army, which is in charge of the program, is not committed to the idea and requires different platforms for each mission. According to Bell and Lockheed, the AV-280, a new planned variant, can fire rockets, missiles, and even small unmanned aerial vehicles front or aft with no rotor interference, even in forward fly and cruise modes with the rotors facing forward. So what do you think of this super fast Bell V-280 Valor aircraft? Drop your comment below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.